everyone welcome to the update of 6th august olympics are on and nifty is participating look at the jumps nifty takes very first thing in the morning at least august has been like this only no smooth opening from where it left last day now japanese stock markets created a havoc yesterday at lunch time yesterday they were at 34000 at lunch time today they were at 34000 again between the two lunches they traversed nearly 20% in terms of market cap so this will probably go down as the costliest set of two lunches in history jokes apart nikkei recovered more than 10% today this gave a sigh of relief not just to the stock markets but also to nearly everyone who is leveraged on yen us markets in pre opening are looking okay hopefully at least temporarily sanity returns the vix is down as well in terms of commodities copper has corrected natural gas has corrected however brent and gold they have not they have actually gone down only these graphs are courtesy trading economics now market may have looked okay but the trend was downward only in terms of large caps one was on the right side one was on the left side one was in the center so approximately speaking balancing each other out however a lot of sectors which were heavy were on the downside and the lighter sector were on the upside personal household goods rock today also nearly every stock was up a little profit booking in dabar three of the top four are nearing 52 week highs the insurance pack bled the most the volumes were however not very high not very big participation which means there were sellers but not many buyers around now yesterday everyone was doing all sorts of analysis to figure out what is wrong in the world and nearly everyone thought we will open gap down 2 3% maybe but nifty surprised everyone in fact i also was confused whether gift nifty is reflecting the wrong values today nifty opened with a big gap up but then immediately corrected consolidated a bit and then continuously corrected bank nifty mimicked the charts of nifty which means reliance did not play much of a role mostly it was a banking driven day now we are heading into the first bank nifty expiry for the month tomorrow so it will get interesting because there will be lot of short positions I don't think the shorts got covered today. I just retained yesterday's snapshot for a reference point. A lot changed. Nifty was down a little only, 0.1 percent. Bank Nifty was still down 0.7 percent. That is mainly because HDFC Bank was down, SBI was down, ICICI also, but half percent only. The consumption pack was up today also. Reliance, TCS, both big stocks were up. So was Infosys. LNT found its feet today after three days. FIIs. sold di is bought whatever they sold note these are net sell figures that does not mean fi did not buy anything nifty energy down very little the mid caps next 50 were down a lot 0.8% defense continues to crack 2% down now two important news amazon just lost their india head for amazon.in this is one organization that i respected a lot over the last decade or so but ever since jeff bezos lost the company is literally just going down they are probably in my opinion having the steve bomber era which microsoft went through for more than a decade amazon is not looking good at all beat aws or the e-commerce business they are not allowed in china and they are literally seems like exiting india from the way they are treating their people as well as customers now i came across this news which was very interesting yesterday adani green announces raising japanese denominated facility to refinance debt this is slightly old news but i was always wondering how come the interest payout ratio of adani group is so low they pay typically around 4 4 and 1/2% kind of interest rate as per my analysis in most of their borrowings and they are among the heaviest borrowers in the country so this is how they manage it through qips external commercial borrowings whatever may be the instrument what i don't know is that in the current unwinding will adani group want to repay they are okay with 0.25% interest rate of course and even if currency appreciates say 2 or 3% this will be way way cheaper than what they will get in india bitcoin is up today 1.5% rupee depreciated a bit the brent continues to fall this will now become a problem for many of india's oil companies because grms will go down and based upon last quarter's losses and low profits i don't think indian citizens are getting cheaper petrol or diesel i am not sure if that's going to happen for at least 3 to 6 months maybe a symptomatic relief 10 paisa 20 paisa 50 paisa per liter now reliance today consolidated and went down tcs also went up and then went down HDFC went down correctly, SBI down correctly, ATL down, ICICI down, 
Infosys down. LNT was a bit choppy. HUL up, ITC choppy, but closed upwards. Within that, Nifty opened at the higher point and then closed towards the lowest point of the day. VIX started low and went up continuously. All banks had same pattern, started at the highest point of the day, closed at the lowest point of the day, beat public sector, private sector. As a result, entire index was down 1%. Banks are roughly in the middle now. I'm redoing the defense pack a bit. There are two stocks which are missing because they were classified with different industries. So solar industries and Cochin Yard have been added, but the sector was down 2%. Many, many stocks hit lower circuits of 5%. No one wants to own defense stocks right now. Volumes also are shallowing. This sector used to have highest volumes earlier. Suddenly, everyone is around 60-70% mark. This is not looking good at all. Metals, Hindustan, Zinc was down, Bharat Forge was down. Overall, not a great day, generally downward bias only. Here also, everyone is around 60-70% mark. Railways, I don't think anyone has any interest left. IT sector saw some buying, however. The top companies were up. Zomato was down today also. It has run up too much, in my opinion, and the risks have not subdued at all. If recession comes, people will cut down on their online food habits most. This will impact Zomato and upcoming Swiggy most. I'm not going to put a lot of money in Zomato. Even if I put it right now, it is zero. Here also the line is somewhere around 70%. The volumes for IT were good. Now this sector will dance when interest rates are cut in the US. Nasdaq will go up, so will be the IT companies. Now one very interesting correlation, InfoEdge owns I think around 12.5% of Zomato. So there is a strong correlation between the price movements of both these stocks. Energy sector was a mixed bag, Tata Power results were not that high, but 4% kind of growth is okay in today's atmosphere, up a little. Adani pack was down a lot, overall the sector was down. Reliance up a bit, however rest, everyone in the oil pack was down severely. MRPL down 5%. I'm still stuck with my stocks. The loss is around 1 lakh now. The sector was down 0.2%. Volumes are thinning here also, not too much interest coming. In general today I observed retail participation was low, the volumes were very low. Consumption pack, I have moved to this slide now. More greens than red, significant greens actually. In the smaller players like Jyoti Labs, Bajaj Consumer, HUL was a savior today also, Godrej Consumer also up 1%. This sector is continuing to see volumes, maybe people are shifting a bit of their portfolio to consumption stocks finally. I have been saying this for last 2 or 3 months. I right now have long term investments in Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer, HUL. Next I want to invest a bit into Gillette, Colgate. Warm beverages is not appearing here, that also is there. Sector snapshot, see this is what I was trying to indicate. Greens were there, but size of greens was less. The reds were a lot bigger. Real estate was up today, software and IT, food and drug retailing, oil and gas related equipment. What was down, insurance, banking, telecom, aerospace and defense, automobile. Automobiles is not showing any sign of recovery. Volumes also were decent in most stocks. Warm beverages continues to bleed 3% down today also. Warm beverages is now in the 70% kind of zone suddenly. Coal India continues to crack. LNT was up. Rest everyone was down in the construction pack. Cement continues to bleed. Trent down. Adani Enterprises recovered a little. Dmart up. Insurance, no respite. Bad day for the sector. LIC down another 2.5%. SBI, HDFC Life, ICIC Pro, ICIC Lombard. Everyone was in deep reds. The sector was down 2.5%. Tata Technologies last year was the most celebrated IPO. It is at 52 week low now. Investment banking, I am seeing some value emerge now, especially in Motia Loswal BSE. I bought a bit of BSE yesterday. It may be getting time to buy some of the stocks. Tata investment also is nearly at 50%. Siemens down, ABB didn't go anywhere, but the sector was down 1.5%. Sun Pharma was down today also, but rest of the sector saw some strength. Real estate had good gains. Specialty retailers continues to bleed, so does Titan. Telecom deep cuts, Bharti Airtel down 1.5%. Nifty 31 stocks down 19 up. Best contribution came from Reliance, HUL, LNT, Tata Consultancy, HCL, JSW Steel. But the other heavyweights were pulling the index down. Bharti, State Bank of India, HDFC, HDFC Life, MNM, ONGC. Nothing literally with low or high volumes. Next 50, 31 stocks down 19 up. Dima, Torrent Pharma, DLF, Adani Total, PI Industries, they were taking the markets up. Mariko, Adani, Wilmer, Adani Energy, Varun Beverages, Zomato, they were dragging the markets down. In these kind of markets, PSU banks don't count actually. A different look to share how my trading day went. So today I bought JNK Bank. This is for trading one or two days. It is showing good uptrend right now. I didn't sell anything. So 
two investing days. Yesterday was very minor profit. Note next week is a shortened week. Thursday is a holiday. So 14th will be a hugely volatile day. It will be bank nifty expiry as well as nifty weekly expiry. Yesterday, everyone spent the maximum time in doing all, all sorts of mathematics as well as figuring out what is wrong in the world. Nothing mattered today. Today, liquidity was back. Perhaps what happened yesterday was a lot of people were leveraged and margin calls globally actually killed a lot of people. So a lot of portfolios and stocks and cryptos were thrown on the street. That is where circuits of 10% were probably raised in many exchanges, stocks, etc. Note, this is the same worry I always share about DIIs. If there is a bad day of selling, you will see this in India also. High quality, good stocks for no reason getting thrown on the street, hitting lower circuit. You might have seen some videos of flooding. The way water is destroying stuff right now, even iron bridges this is the same tsunami which hits when stock markets hit lower circuits i don't know when that day will happen but hope you and i both have some money on that day to buy stuff thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow